daughter? Did you do it? Did you do it, Daddy? <laughs> yes. What did it cost? Everything. So here's a so here's the first mistake that I have made, thinking that I need to make my first short film really good. So I was wanting to make an animated short film for three freaking years and I didn't do it. Why? Because I thought the first short film that I've ever made should be really crafted, really well defined, really perfect. It should be really, really, really good. It can be actually, it can be and I tried and it wasn't. Why? Because I simply did not have a skill because I did not put enough repetitions to get good. If I need to have put that repetitions in, I should have started with my first short film which I did not do how can I get good at something if I did not start doing the thing here's what I should have done instead a long 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 time ago I should have gone ahead and created an MVP what does that mean? It means a minimum viable product. It's a term often used in the business and startup cultures. It's a product that is simply the most basic version of your larger product that just captures the core essence and the necessities in the most minimal fashion. It just works. That's an MVP. So that's what I did. I just stopped what I was doing generally, all the projects that I was doing. I was like, pull to stop. Let's stop it here, guys. Let's just focus on making a short film in 48 hours. Let's make the shittiest, crappiest version of the short film that we possibly can that just shows what this thing can do in 48 hours. And then heck, we'll refine it in two weeks. We have to finish this, which I want to finish it. There's no other option. <laughs> we have to finish it. And that means let's just make it black and white. Let's finish this and then fill in all the colors and then make it color. Still, it's a very short period of time to put my first quality or decent work out there. Second mistake is this. Don't take on something that is too big at the start. So I made this mistake a couple of times in the past. In 2018, I took on this comic project, my avatar, that's basically it. It's my big life project. And I took that comic project as my first ever project. And guess what happened? I am putting my 100 days of making comic series on hold. It's too hard. It's too hard to climb Mount Everest on day one if you haven't ever climbed it or went on a hike before, right? Because I was that kid. I had never went on a hike before. Then I was taking on a big project. Was sort of going to do that same mistake right here as well, but I was, I was more aware of my mistakes this time. I took on a one minute short film, a one minute, very small color short film called Sweat and Blood. And I thought, you know what? It's not my Mount Everest. It's very simple. It's just a hike. And guess what? I was wrong. So we've been making a super short short film right which is one minute long apparently it's taking a long time as you can see so i've been thinking <laughs> which is not a good thing <laughs> no no I've, I've been thinking what doing it which is make something even smaller make something even more doable what is my comfort zone and what is slightly outside of my comfort zone and pick that thing so for me it was this five hour comic that i made in the past it was a very short comic with a very simple story and i was like you know what let's make a very small very doable short film and this time let me make it even easier on myself by hiring other people hiring an animator getting an animator who's got some experience so that i can actually focus on character design directing keyframes and all those things. What you do is just, just do and then flip it like this. Already? Three, two, one, go. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Once he throws it, the guy is like looking, going like that, and then the starfish. Those two characters are standing right here. Let's say assume this is the beach. Starfish obviously won't be this way. Right? <laughs> Just assume it's a small starfish. A uh, couple come. Taking on something too big at the start is a bad idea, bad mistake. And uh, taking something more doable, slightly outside the comfort zone is much better. Because, my friend, there's a more important thing than the work that you make, which is the kind of person that you become. That is the third lesson, by the way. If you bring a millionaire to the streets, they will still become a millionaire after a while. But if you give a poor person a million dollars, they will still become poor. Let me show you something.
See this? This is what I call the project cycle. It's from Austin Cleon and it actually shows what the life cycle of a project sort of looks like. If a person tries really, really hard and they put in all the effort and make this one great piece of work, one great piece of short film, one great piece of artwork, they just go through that project cycle just once. Whereas if you do more repetitions of work, more volume of work, probably less shorter in quality so that you can actually get more volume, right? Get more repetitions in. If you do that, you will go through the project cycle of actually finishing something multiple times because a life cycle, the life cycle of project to my understanding and to my knowledge involves so many emotions so many ups so many downs so many struggles that will just make you go off track very 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 easily but you realize that you are essentially your own biggest enemy in a given project for you to stop being your own biggest enemy you have to actually become a seasoned warrior seasoned warrior with battle scars who's gone to war so many times that they can actually you know see through all the bull crap that you throw at yourself and stay focused on the task at hand and actually have finished that thing and for that to happen one needs to go to war many times one needs to make more work many times and that's what made me realize that you got to put in the work you got to put in the repetitions to become the type of person who can actually be that seasoned artistic warrior because if i save someone from a thief one day that doesn't make me a hero but if i do that every single night saving people from their troubles then i would be a hero i would be a superhero because a wise man once said it's not who you are underneath it's what you repeatedly do that defines you So if you want more creative ideas like this, make sure you follow my newsletter where I actually send out these ideas much earlier in advance through email, through short bits of wisdoms and ideas. And if you want to check out my art program, Drawing Camp, you can also do that too. Those are links down below in the description. Yeah, so that is it for this video. Cool. Man, I was panting for breath all this while. Maybe I need to do more cardio.